I'm sure there's m more of a way I could get it like stronger and like so people actually get what I was trying to do but yeah it was just the way for me to like because a lot of people were actually saying like in that bottom part of the personal statement that it should be more kind of like you selling yourself to the law schools so I was like is there can you give me any like tips on that like what could I say and like, how can I incorporate that because I really don't think I did that much in that part anyway yeah so I, I think you're right that at the end of, the, of your personal statement it is good if you can to relate it back to why law school or at least you mm -hmm. want somewhere in your application to tell the story of well why law school why now why does this person need to go to law school to yeah. achieve their goals and so to me i mean given the topic of your personal statement you know with housing law and housing rights and things yeah. of that nature and obviously new york city is a very pro-tenant city yeah, and the regulations are there to help you but you also have to know to ask for help and you have to know that there are services available and people who can help you and you went out and you found that help and i think that if you wanted to say i want to advocate for those who are disadvantaged or i want to advocate for those who don't know where to go or where to turn for help i can help them that to me is a very clear connection and obviously you don't have to practice your housing rights law specifically or tenants rights specifically but the idea of being an advocate i think it's already within the story you were telling throughout your personal statement thanks for tuning into the show please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as i release them and feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep i'm happy to help however i can in the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.